What's going on everybody? It is David Palmer, Leo King, and this is my show on Cut Astrology, where I take off the mask and go deep behind the veil and give you this week's astrological forecast for the week of November 2nd through the 9th of 2016. And uh, this is a special uncut weekly report. So if you share this video, I'm not gonna snail mail you. I'm giving away a free one hour, $700 reading whoever shares this video, because this is the week of the election. This is the week of some very weird astrology. And I think that this message should get out as much as possible. So I will pick one person, whoever shares off my Facebook, a free one hour reading that I'll do at the end of this month. Also, are you on my app, the Leo King app? Make sure that you join me at theleokingapp.com. You can get on your computer, your Android, or your iPhone device. And my monthly horoscope is available on inclusiveastrology.com as well. Now, I've got my iPad out here. I'm actually using Astro Gold on my iPad Pro. I'm out here today in the middle of Nevada. Nevada. I don't even know what the name of this lake is. Like Wilson Lake, I think, is what it is. And it is super bright, so you're gonna have to bear with me here. This is looking really pretty. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> you call it uncut? I call it uncut, too. Um, <sighs> this week. It's a Venus week. So Venus and Sagittarius, where it's actually a good sign. It's fire sign. Venus likes to be here. It's about expansion. And now it's come off Saturn. So there's these growing energies with relationships, looking at projects with new eyes, with this beauty. We've got Uranus in a trine to Venus this week. We've got Chiron squaring it. So it's letting us see the future relationships, be more empowered in relationships, be more empowered with our self-worth, but not let the past take us down. You know, a Venus square Chiron could be wounds over relationships or, you know, sensitivities, the past, money stuff. You're going to have to like push through that and see the future, see that you're fine, see your bold vision. And this is a week about bold visions in relationships, bold visions in your self-worth, bold visions in your manifestation. This is also, of course, the sun in Scorpio, right? We just had the new moon coming into this week. And as we are coming out of this week, the moon is waxing. It's coming into a strong phase and it's going through Sagittarius. It's going through Capricorn and it's going to square in Aquarius. And this is where Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, especially are going to be the most powerful days is because unpredictability is at extreme. Intensity is at extreme. To have this moon in Aquarius, square Mercury, square the sun, right before the crazy election on the, on the, the, the Tuesday the 8th, anything can happen, revolutions are going to happen, and the most important of all this is Mars at the last degree of Capricorn. This is the degree where the goat will do whatever it can to reach the top of the mountain, the last step. Mars at its exaltation, which means it's at one of its most powerful positions at the last and most powerful degree. We're going to need to find a way to learn to, I think, disconnect a little bit from the intensity and find a way to, it's not going to be easy. I'll be honest with you folks, find a way to, I, I think we're going to have to rely on other people. We're going to have to rely on relationships in our life to help us through this. We're going to have to rely on disconnecting from energy where you need to review more information. One thing is Mercury's in Scorpio. And it's interesting uh, because there's a lot of information that could be true. It couldn't be true. This is the South Node on Neptune. And this is a, and even in your own life. I'm going to use, I'm going to be very honest with everybody. 10 minutes ago, I'm driving down. We're, we're about to look for this lake. A cop pulls me over for speeding. I got pulled over for speeding. He writes me a ticket. And at the end he goes, did you know you have a federal warrant in New Jersey? And I go, what? New Jersey? I've only been through New Jersey once in my life. Drove through it for like an hour. That's it. Never done anything in New Jersey. Never stayed in New Jersey. Never did nothing in New Jersey. And then he doesn't arrest me and just like goes, well, it says you got a federal warrant. And he leaves. Now he didn't arrest me. Now I'm freaked out because I'm like, what the hell's going on? How in the hell do I have a warrant in New Jersey? I've never even been there in my life. And I'll be honest, it's freaking me the hell out. I'm calling my mom. Hey, you need to get on the computer because like there is no internet where I'm at right now. So you need to review a lot and some weird shit's going to come up. I'm going to be honest. And, and with this election, weird stuff's going to be exposed. 
And if you really do look at this astrology, we got Jupiter on its approach to square Jupiter, or I mean Pluto, which means there's all this intensity that's getting overboard. And you can feel it within your, 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 your gut, your soul. And it's interesting that this moon in Aquarius will, of course, come over Mars at the last degree. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are going to be the most powerful days because you're dealing with Mars energy. You're dealing with Mars at the end of Capricorn where we got to we got to do things that maybe are not going to be very emotionally comfortable in our life. I hate to be honest this week. There is no comfort through this week except through relationships that we have through people and you need to learn to rely on other people. Open your heart to other people. Open your soul to other people because that's where you'll be able to get through this. Scorpio is a harsh sign, but it creates, we're going through massive change. We're going through massive transformation of who we are individually. And with this moon in Aquarius, it wants to connect with others. It wants to help us disconnect from some of this over intensity and and have a little bit of breaks or or take off a little bit and get the hell out of that place for a little bit the other aspect that i think is the most interesting is saturn and pluto are both going to be at 15 degrees and this is also a week where the sun is sextiling Pluto. So you want to add more to intensity, more to deep change, more to everything, your whole life morphing and you have no idea where it's going and you're trying to understand it and trying to get to it. You're in the middle of it. You're in the thick of it. It's thick. This week is thick and we get Monday, especially with the, with the, with the moon square to the sun, this moment where we're going to have to get out of it for a second and try and get some air and breathe through this and it might be a little bit too much a little bit too in much this is a week where the intensity is on high scale alert red alert intensity but it's because your life's changing the world's changing a major mind blow is about to happen with all this sagittarius with venus here we're having to create new belief structures see a new world believe in this new world and the moon, of course, is going to come into Pisces Tuesday night and or two, it's actually Tuesday afternoon. It doesn't matter. It depends on where you are. And the moon on Election Day goes into Pisces and goes into the world of deception, goes into the world of misinformation with Neptune in the south node there. So this is going to be a week where, like I said, comfort. There's going to be a lot of water that happens by the end of this week and it's just going to be, and then the moon comes into Aries after next week. We'll talk about that. Like this is just going to be a time where the intensity is at full bore. There's not many breaks. It's almost like if you were on a trail and you keep waiting for a, a bench with some water and there's no fucking water. And you're going to have to like, like we were just driving for hours and there was no food. And all there was was a freaking McDonald's and I had to eat that crap. I'm using these analogies because this week, the positive in all this is that you're going through major change and it's not easy because you are leaving those old fearful parts of yourself. This is going to bring up every fear you've ever experienced over the last four years and face it dead on. You might even be going through the past, replaying old situations and this is so you could get over those by conquering them now, by learning to disconnect from them, by learning to do something different about them. And so, it's exciting. I will be in Portland, November 8th, election night. Tickets are on sale at my website, theleoking.com. There's a link for that there. Also, just check my Facebook for the ticket sales. Also, the 7th in Seattle. I still haven't locked down the venue, but Rick Levine and I are going to do a show. We'll post that up on our Facebooks. So you'll be able to see that as well if you're in Seattle and you want to hang out the night before the election. Oh boy. And I didn't even finish the halfway point of Saturn and Pluto. We're halfway through Saturn and Sagittarius, which means our belief structures, our adventures, our, our overall collective conscious understanding of the world has come to a point to where now our beliefs are going to change extreme. Pluto is halfway through Capricorn now. That's taken eight years to happen. 
We are halfway through the transit. It's a 16-year transit. When it comes to control systems, government systems, but deeper than that within yourself, systems in which you can be stronger and achieve more and go for the things you want, this is an extreme time of transformation where you are going to have to go for what you want and there's not a lot of breaks, there's not a lot of comfort zones, there's not a lot of five-star resorts, there's little motels with shitty beds, like I can't describe it any better, like energetically and people with all this Venus energy are, is our only way out. Mercury is in the depths trying to figure this all out and it's not going to come out this week, folks. And with Chiron square Venus, you're going to have to get over a lot of your old relationship wounds, a lot of your old relationship past, a lot of your old things about your own self-worth. If you can make it through things while you're going through deep fears, woo! But you know what? That sounds like you're about to become a master. You're about to ascend higher. Earths are about to ascend to a much higher degree. And when that happens, and when, when you see energy like this, when it's tough, you know you come out that much better on the end of it and the world will be that much better, but I'd be prepared for your mind to be blown by the end of this week. Hope to see you in Seattle and Portland. Hope to see you on the Leo King app and for anybody who shares this, I'm picking one winner out of that group, a free one hour, $700 worth reading with me. Thanks so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. I'm sending you the best. I'm gonna do a quick prayer. I pray that we're all protected through this moment and that through all this craziness that we're about to go through that God tries to give us at least some little bit more comfortable zones than that we need through this moment. That the universe and all of our guides help us and that the right people are in our worlds to be there for us and to get us through these crazy and intense changes we all are going into individually as a collective and on earth. Amen. Thank you so much for watching my report. I'm David Palmer with Leo King. You can catch me on leoking.com, leokingapp.com, or on my Facebook, David Lawrence Palmer, The Leo King. I will see you on the next Uncut. Music